What's going on, my fellow knights? My name is Gallant Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing the Five Nights at Freddy's Survive till 6 a.m. board game by Funko. So, shout out to Funko. I found this game over on Amazon, and I figured, why not? So, I bought it, and I tried to learn how to play but if you've ever heard of this game, you know that it is a little bit weird. The instructions aren't very good, so you have to watch a bunch of tutorials to see how to even play. But anyway, this could be played up to one or two people. I'm, of course, only going to use the one-player board because, you know, there's only one of me. Uh, but if you flip this board over, there is another uh, section on the back for two players. So, we have everything set up. We have our time cards in here. That's our clock. We have the two dice. We have our power, which as of right now is at 100%. We have all of our cards, and we have the four animatronics. So, now we just have to split everything up. Cam 1 gets 12 cards. Uh, 2 gets 11, plus 1 animatronic. 3, the same thing. 11 cards, 1 animatronic shuffled in. And then... Cam for 10 cards, but two animatronics shuffled in. So I am really excited. I'm going to have to put the phone down so I can shuffle these. So I'll be right back when it's set up. All right. So all the animatronics are in the deck and they are shuffled in. So let's get started. So we're going to take the timer, start thing off, and it is 12 a.m. So that means we flip up a card in each section. Okay, so far so good. Okay, no animatronic. Oh, and of course we get Bonnie. So we're going to do this from Cam 1 onwards. So a card like this that doesn't have a what was that on it means it pretty much does nothing. So we're just going to put it in the discard pile in our office. Then for this one, now we take a card from the top of this deck and we move it over one space because there's only one square. If there were two squares, I'd move it into my office, but I'm, I'm going to let it happen. And if I decided I didn't want this to happen, I would roll one of the die over there and I would subtract whatever it says off of my power. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it. So we'll get rid of this. And uh, you know what? I'll let this one go too. So we're going to take a card, put it on the top, get rid of this. And then for Bonnie... I'm I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop him. So that means I have to take a die and roll it. And I lose 5% power. So now my power is going to go down to... Oh, doing this with one hand is not easy. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I can do it. Yeah. All right, well, I have 95% power. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put Bonnie back where he came from, I think. And now I'm going to reshuffle this deck that has Bonnie in it. So give me one second while I reshuffle and adjust my power and we'll be right back. All right, everything is good to go. So for the next turn, we're gonna take 12 off and now it is 12.30 a.m. We're at 95% power, so we should be fine. So we have a power depletion, a what was that? Chica, uh-oh. And another power depletion, okay. So for the power depletion cards, if I decide to roll the die and to stop one of these actions from happening, I also have to do a plus five usage. And since I have two of them, that's plus 10. Oh boy. Uh, so we're going to leave them for now. And then for this one, what was that? We have to go ahead and flip this card because the icon is going from the bottom up. So we flip another card off of this deck. And it was one of the rooms, so it's useless. Um, I'm not going to stop Chica, I don't think. Because, oh wait, Chica has a thing. Oh, Chica's ability, I have to flip another card. Oh no, and I have to flip another card. You're kidding. You're, what? All right, well, I'm not going to stop any of that because I'd have to use an extra 10% power because of both of the power depletion cards. So I'm just not going to do it. And that means now, because I didn't stop Chica from moving, we can get rid of all those. 
We're going to take Chica and put her in the next room over. And now I have to reshuffle this one. Uh, but I didn't use any power this round, so I don't have to worry about the power depletion or rolling the die and changing it. So let me reshuffle the deck we just put Chica in, and we'll start round number three. Okay, everything is good to go, so that means it's no longer 12.30. It is 1 a.m. So let's see, we have a room that is good, we want that. Uh, we don't want a power depletion. Uh, oh no, what was that again? And a what was that on the end, which means we flip up and we do it again. And we move over, uh, but also we move over for this one. So I guess we did do it out of order, so we're going to keep going in the order we were doing anyway. So this card moves over here, and then it just moves over to this one. Uh, so hopefully that's not an animatronic, or they just moved super, super far. Uh, so we didn't use any power, so we don't have to worry about power depletion. We could just go ahead and wipe all those off the board and just skip on over to 1.30 a.m. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. First card, a room. Second is, what was that? Third, oh, I'm running out of cards in this pile. Another, what was that? And a fourth. <gasps> what? I can't believe it. It's a miracle. Uh, so we're going to go left to right. Uh, so this one is going to move... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, we're okay. Okay, so this one goes right into cam one. This one goes right into here. And there's only two cards left in this pile, uh, which should be good. Uh, then that's it again. We can just move everything off. And I have a bad feeling about this, friends. Uh, it's 2 a.m. Let me fix that. It's 2 a.m., and we're slowly running out of cards. Oh, no. Okay, so we might... Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right. All right, so Freddy is still all the way at the end. We don't really have to worry about him. Oh, but these... So I'm going to go ahead and flip this, and it goes right into my office face up, and it's a room. We're safe. Okay, that one's done. This one goes over one, so I'll let it happen. And then this one goes over two. I'm pretty sure this room was Chica, and she moved into this pile. So I'm going to let this happen. So it moves over two because of that. So one, two, right on the top of that deck. And now that's empty, which is kind of weird. So I guess we won't stop Freddy. We'll put him there. And now we know that room three is Freddy, which I guess is fine, right? I'm going to go ahead and move all these out of the way. I could move them into the office pile, but I mean, there's really, there's no point. I'll just make a separate pile for them. And all right, let's move on to 2.30 a.m. And that means that we're getting very close. We still have 95% power. So maybe I should start using some of it, huh? Uh, we have, what was that? What was that? Freddy, of course, because he's the only card in that pile. And what was that again? We'll flip it up. It's a room, no big deal. Oh, uh, but these. Okay. So this is going to get flipped. And it was a what was that? So it doesn't matter because it's already in the office. And then for this one, I'll let it I'll let it go right in that pile. Uh, you know what? I will stop Freddy. So let me go ahead and roll for it. See how much power. And it looks like another 5% power. So my power now goes from 95 to 90. But that also means that Freddy stays in this room, but he's the only card there, so he's going to be back anyway. So let's move it to 3 a.m. We're getting very, very close. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the cards a little bit to make this more organized. All right, so I changed the dial. We're now at 90%, so let's start flipping cards. And I'm pretty sure I already flipped that. Also, that's Foxy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. That's not good. Uh, whoops, I forgot to get rid of these. Oh, I'm moving everything. Hold on, let me fix it. All right. And then the last one is... Oh, we have three animatronics up there? Okay. Um, oh no. So I think I'm going to go ahead and not cancel this one. So that means it moves over to... And it's Chica. I lose! If an animatronic gets in your office, you lose automatically. I should have used my power and re-rolled it. Uh, so Chica would have stayed there. 
but I didn't do it for some reason. All right, so let me reset it up and I'll try one more time to beat this game. Everything is reset. I'm at 100% power. The start clock is there and all the decks have been reshuffled. The animatronics in each. Zero, one, one, and two. So I guess with fur without further ado, let's start round two and let's see if we can actually win. It is now midnight. Of course, we have that one, which actually isn't bad because we know there's no animatronic. Okay, uh, whoever shuffled these probably didn't do too good of a job, I'd say. Uh, oh man, okay. So I'm going to cancel. Actually, no, let's just, let's do it in order. So we'll flip up one. Power depletion, of course. Uh, we'll flip up one and it's Foxy already. This one we don't do anything for. And then this one. Oh man. All right, so I'm going to cancel both. I'm going to cancel this one, and I'm going to cancel Foxy so he gets reshuffled. So that means I have to roll two die here, one for each action I'm canceling, and you can only cancel up to two actions. So say I wanted to cancel this and this one, even though I can't because it's literally a room, uh, I wouldn't be able to. You can only cancel up to two, zero, one, or two. Uh, so that is 15% power plus five so I'm already down to 80% power. Uh-oh, that is uh, not a good start. Oh, wrong way. 80% power. And let's go ahead and reshuffle Foxy into this deck. And then we'll continue. Foxy is reshuffled in. So let's go ahead and move the time up 1 to 12.30 a.m. We're already down at so much power. All right, we have what was that? What was that? Empty room, which is great. And then, what was that? So, again, we'll do this one first. I'm just going to go ahead and not skip it, because I know there's no animatronic. Uh, then this one, I will allow to move over. This one doesn't matter, because it's just an empty room. And then for this one, what was that? I will allow it to go, and it's Bonnie. I'm not going to cancel him. I'm going to let him go ahead and move. So then I just have to reshuffle this, and we'll move on to 1 a.m. 1 a.m., and now let's start flipping cards. Here's Cam 1, Cam 2, luckily nothing. Cam 3 is Chica, and then 4 is what was that? Uh, so I feel like I shouldn't cancel any. Uh, so I'll move this card over for the what was that, and then I'll let Chica go ahead and move into this room right here. So I have to reshuffle this, and then we're gonna keep going. We're still at 80% power. So, so far, so good. So, let's take another 30 minutes off the clock. It is now 1.30 a.m. And we'll just keep on moving. There's two what was that. Here's a third room. We're getting super lucky with that room. And then last, what was that? So, we'll start here. You will move over. Empty room, doesn't matter. What was that? We'll take the top and move it over. Actually, you know what? I lied. I'm going to cancel this one. Because I think there's two animatronics in there. And I don't want to meet them yet. So let's go ahead and roll the die. Ooh, that's 10% power. So we're now down to 70% power. This room doesn't matter. And then this room, I will let it just happen and move over. So there we go. We did it. We made it through another 30 minutes of the game. And now let's just move them away. We don't need them. Now we'll go ahead and move the clock to 2 a.m. Also, I forgot to change the dial, so let me do that real quick. Let's change this bad boy over to 70%. Yes, there we go. We did it. Okay. All right. So for 2 a.m., we have that one. Oh, no. I have a feeling we might lose here, my friends. What? It, whoever shuffled this didn't do good. That was like the fourth empty room in a row. Then power depletion at the very end, of course. All right. So I guess we'll... Uh, We'll just, we'll let this happen. We'll let this card go through for this one. Then this moves over to, oh, oh, oh no. Well, uh, it would appear that we lost again. We let Chica kill us again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. this game's so hard, but you know what? This game actually is kind of fun though. It's definitely a fun one you can play by yourself or bring a friend along. Again, it is a two-player game. Uh, here I can show you real quick if I can flip this over, ignore all the cards. 
But here, look, here's the second side of the board. If you flip it over, it has spots for each person. So this is where player two would be. Player one would be up there. And there's a whole nother deck with the FNAF 2 animatronics, like Balloon Boy, Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie. It's really, really cool. I like this game a lot. If there's anything you didn't understand or need help with, let me know in the comments below if you're trying to learn as well. And let me know if you enjoyed this video. This is a little bit different than how I usually do or what I usually do. So if you want to see more or if you want to see me try to beat the game again using the other FNAF animatronics, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video whenever that is. Until then, though... Five. Oh, I didn't know you could get a zero. Why didn't I ever get a zero? Well, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.